What's up, YouTube? Don't forget to head over and check out my brother's channels for some great content. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. YouTube, what up? It's your boy, Life of Coach D, and I'm back with another video. It wouldn't be a video about the team associated DR10 if you didn't make a complaint about it, right? Right. So that's what we're about to do right now. You know, I'm just playing. It's no big complaint, man. Everything about the car out of the box was in good shape. Uh, I did change out the rear wheels to the J Concept Green Compound Hotties. Um, I, I do have the front wheels. I just have to order the front tires. Um, so yeah, let's get this body off just to show you guys what was missing on my DR10. I must have gotten the Friday worker uh, who was trying to rush out the door. But uh, let me show you what I'm talking about. I didn't notice that, but look, I got the same issue right there. Look, oh, body wasn't cut straight. Oh, man, that's just gonna mess up everything. This <laughs> plan, but now let me show you guys what I'm talking about for real. For real. All right, guys. So. Last night I was looking at the shocks because I did have one leaky shock. It was the back left side, I believe. So I fixed that. Uh, so I started looking at the front shocks, all right? So of course you have your spacer and then below your spacer, you have this little spring, uh, I don't know what it's called, but it like, it catch, like it holds the spring on like this little sleeve right here at the top, right below, see that right there? Right below the spacer. This is the right side, right? So when I went and I looked at the left side, uh, uh, what's missing, it's not there, but, no biggie. I mean, that's something small, but I just think what happens when you try to mass produce and be the first company to make a ready to run, uh, no prep car and the demand for the cars, um, you probably weren't expecting to be as high as it is. A couple things get, I mean, it gets missed here and there. So no big deal you know what i mean it's something small i can grab something off of a, of a old i think i got my old uh typhon shocks that has that piece on there that i can use and put on there but other than that man it i have my spectrum receiver in here that i bought off of this guy jc on let go good dude and, he, and i bought two of them got two uh sr 410s for 60 bucks so yeah man good dude good seller on let go um, so big shout out to him for, for doing that for me. Um, I got another, uh, drag build that's being built as we speak by Rudis Motorsports, man. <sighs> Prospect chassis on the way, baby. Really about to hop into this drag side of the, of the, of the hobby. Um, so yeah, I did change up the gearing in here. Not telling you what it is until I run it tomorrow in the test video. Um, which y'all will see that I'm gonna pop that up probably tomorrow morning. So quick update on the DR10 associated no prep drag vehicle. Like I said, stuff is going to get missed when you're mass producing something that you didn't expect to be a hot ticket item. So I don't hold nobody accountable for that. Um, but bro, if you were that dude on Friday working on my car and you forgot that piece, and you forgot to tighten down my shock. Hey brother, I know what you're going through. We all go through it. So other than that, man, comment, comment, subscribe, thumbs down this video. I want everybody to get this video a thumbs down, honestly. So keep doing what you're doing. Again, happy Father's Day to everybody out there, man. It's your boy Life Coach D, and I'm out.